Hey, how's your Wednesday going, everybody? We're moving straight into day three of our experimental week. If you didn't already know, I'm doing a top games of the day every day this week, and then this Saturday, I'm coming out with a top games of the week. Now, these videos have been doing quite well. We're getting quite a few views on them. Not too many subscribers, though, so if you are watching this and you're not already subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button. Okay, let's get started with the video. Alright, before I talk about our number 5 game, I just want to mention that we do have a Discord, so if you are interested in staying in the loop with me and my community, definitely join that Discord. The link will be in the description. Alright, let's jump straight into our number 5 spot. This is a game called Together We Sound. This is a 3D atmospheric game by Christian J. Perez. The main premise of this game is you're in this super serene atmospheric room with music playing, but the music is decomposed into different parts, and you have to hear through your headphones where each part is in the room and fly to it and rescue it. Now, when you find these parts and pinpoint their exact location, they turn into metal balls and they orbit around you. And the goal is to find each of the parts of the music for each room. Although the gameplay for this game is quite simple, it's a super serene experience. And if you're the type of person that really likes to lose themselves in the atmosphere of the game and appreciate the art, this is definitely the game for you. With how many games there are today, it's really impressive to have accomplished something new, and I would say that Christian Perez and his friends accomplished that very well. So definitely go check out their game, and as always, all of these games are 100% free, and the links will be in the description. Alright, coming to our number 4 spot, this is a game called Neon Wings by Fubinalvo. This is a 3D sci-fi racing game where you play as a X-Wing looking spaceship thing, racing three other spaceships through a course. And as those of you who watch my live streams may know, I'm not too good at video game. And as you guys that watch me may know, I'm not very good at skill-based games, and this was no exception, <laughs> but I did have a ton of fun playing this game. I feel like racing games are kind of a polarizing genre. People either really love them or really hate them, but if you're like me and you like to enjoy a racing game once in a while and get lost in the thrill, then this is definitely the game for you. This game takes a couple really well-established genres and blends them, so we have the sci-fi racing genre that we all know and love but they slap it down in the middle of a city and then add some almost Mario Kart-esque themes with different power-ups and items that you can use to hinder your opponents. If you are the type of person that likes racing games and you want to find something new and exciting, then this is the game for you. Alright, coming to our number 3 spot, this is a game called Ominous by Crane51. Now this is a 2D adventure platformer with a hint of RPG and puzzle aspects. Basically you play as an explorer wandering through caves attempting to recover relics, but there's different mummies and zombies that can attack you, as well as spike traps and different pits you can fall into. This whole game really gives off an Indiana Jones vibe, and it blends several different genres seamlessly. The adventure, story, platforming, and puzzle aspects all work together to make this a great game, and I'd highly recommend you check it out. Alright, moving to our number 2 spot, we have a game called Baldi's Basics Challenges Demo by Basically Games. That's a mouthful. Now this is actually a demo for a game mode of a game that's already been published. But basically the premise of this challenges mode is you have to explore a school and find seven notebooks without getting caught by Baldi or any of his friends. There's three different modes you can play in. There's the speedy game mode where you and Baldi both go really fast and you have to collect 25 notebooks. There's the grappling game mode where you can't move except by grappling. And the sneaky game mode where you have to sneak around and go really slow and not get caught by anybody. Now this game looks innocent and compared to some of the other horror games I've played, it's relatively mild, but it does have some pretty crazy jump scares throughout the game. If you're the type of person that's looking for a game that mixes strategy, survival, exploration, and jump scares seamlessly, this is the game for you. Alright, moving on to our number one spot, this is a game called Folded Tale by Nero Angelo. This is a 2D physics based puzzle game, and when I first opened up this game, I honestly expected it to be an Angry Birds knockoff, because that's what it looks like, but this is absolutely not a knockoff of anything. This game has one of the most unique game mechanics I've ever seen in a 2D game. Basically, you are a little round slime, and you need to roll over all three of the stars and get to the flag, but the only way for you as the player to move this slime is to 
fold the page. So basically you can fold the page in one of four directions, which mirrors the slime to the other side of the map. This is a super fun and rewarding game to play, and I had so much fun figuring out each level. The concept is simple enough, but you would be surprised at how complicated these levels can get. This is one of the best developed indie games I've ever seen, and it really already feels like a full game. So if you're going to check out just one of these games, I'd highly recommend that you make it this one. And congrats again to Nero Angela for taking the top spot of the day. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Again, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Also, if you want thumbnails that look like mine, I'll make them for as little as $2 a piece on Fiverr. The link for that will be in the description. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.